Hey, Amanda here bringing you into our life at Hotel Moro. We took room 215, which was full of old electronic equipment, and we cleared it out and turned it into a beautiful space for our five-year-old daughter. Even though we designed it for our five-year-old daughter, I think it's a space that many women will enjoy. If you're excited for this transformation, please give this video a like so more people can see it. Don't forget to subscribe. It's totally free to do so and you can change your mind at any time. Also, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time our videos are posted, which should be every Tuesday. So when we got started, this room was an electronics collection space. It was full of record players, cameras, typewriters, radios, phones, you name it, it was probably in here. Speakers, old speakers, um, a lot of stuff in here. So once we got all that cleaned out, then we started we got it all moved out, we started cleaning the space. Um, and we decided to keep the linoleum floors because they were, again, were in fairly good shape and we didn't want to spend a lot of time and effort into removing them at this point. When picking our kids' rooms, we kind of kept in mind that we wanted um, them to be kind of grouped by age. So our two youngest are grouped together and like their rooms share that Jack and Jill shower space. And then our two oldest, the plan is that they will sh also share the Jack and Jill shower space. Um, the reason we wanted to do that is because we would eventually like to turn those little shower nooks or shower spaces into reading nooks. We want to put like big bookshelves and beanbag chairs and just have them as little reading spaces for each of the kids. So by grouping them close together in age, they're reading interests and uh, age levels are, are more similar that way. So the little kids get the easier readers and then the bigger kids can get the chapter books. Once again, the walls were super grimy even after we cleaned them. So we came in and painted a couple of coats of pearly white on the walls and the ceiling and made it all fresh and clean to start our decorating. I love how it uh, contrasts with the uh, dark trim that we've got in here. And it was a color that we felt would go really well with the colors she had picked for blue and pink. Before we started moving furniture in, I did find one of the creepiest bugs I think I've ever seen. Um, and I'd never seen them before moving into this building, and I've found a couple since then. They're called house centipedes, and I guess they're not that uncommon, but I had never seen one before, and it really freaked me out. So we removed the bug, scrubbed the floors, hung up her new curtains, and I had one more project that I wanted to get done before we started really moving the furniture in, and that was painting her dresser. She had picked to reuse the dresser from our previous house, um, but I felt it like kind of needed an update. It was white with flowers and um, some light wood accents, so we went and painted it a nice dark navy blue to fit her room. For this furniture uh, makeover project, I started by just wiping it all down really good to remove any dirt, debris, greasy fingerprints. After washing it down, I gave it a nice even coat of primer, and the primer I used on this was Fusion Mineral Paints Ultra Grip, because um, I know it's very compatible with their paint, and that's what I was going to use on this project. So I used a microfiber applicator pad to put on the primer, then I let it sit for 24 hours, and then I started painting on my coats of paint. I ended up using two coats of the Midnight Blue, and I think it turned out really nice. And then once it was all dry, I added um, some handles that I had picked up on Amazon for a really good deal. And it, uh, it complemented the dresser really well. So it was pretty cute when we were deciding what kind of theme that she wanted to go with. I had asked her what colors she wanted and she told me pink and blue, that they were her favorite colors and that's what she wanted. And so I kind of started searching around and I knew that usually when they say blue, a lot of times they mean like a teal turquoise type color. Um, but I found a photo that I really liked and I thought that she would too. Um, but it wasn't something she would normally go with, I think. And so it was navy and pink. So I showed her my inspiration and she was super, super excited. 
I showed her the inspiration picture and then somehow it got brought up that we didn't have the bedding. Um, so I think that there was like a misinterpretation. She thought that it was something that we had at the hotel and that I had gotten rid of and she had a huge meltdown, tears and just, you know, crying and carrying on for a long time until we finally came to the conclusion that we did not have the bedding, but we were going to get the bedding and that kind of like mellowed it out and she was back on track and very excited about her having her own room and getting it decorated and uh, just having her own space. So the bed frame that she chose, we had two rooms back to back set up when we first bought the building. It was uh, that way when we purchased it. And the kids used to play in those rooms. Like one was the princess room, one was the maid's room. Um, so Elizabeth took one set of furniture and then Madeline wanted this set of furniture. And so I was super excited because I really love this old iron bed frame. I thought it, um, I thought it would really work well in her little girly room that she wanted. You can actually tell that it's like a very old bed frame because it has the old style box spring, which is very hard to maneuver by yourself. Um, you have to get it lined up just right for it to sit in place. I am thinking eventually I might switch it out and put some slats on it um, just because I don't really love the old box spring. Um, I just picture kids getting fingers pinched or something. Um, so it'll be nice to get that switched out at some point. So the bedding set did take a little bit of effort to get pulled off. I did have to kind of collect pieces here and there. Um, a lot of times when I buy bed kid bedding, I'll just buy like sheets and a comforter or I'll buy like a bed in a bag set. Um, but this one was like, I got sheets from Amazon. The comforter was Ross Dress for Less, uh, pillows from Walmart more throw pillows from Amazon. Like it was just kind of all over the place, but we did kind of pull it all together and it's really, really close to the inspiration picture that she was really after. One of the things I was really particular about when designing each of the kids' bedroom is I wanted them to each have a desk in their own room. Uh, I wanted them to be able to like color and draw and just kind of have their own quiet place that they could just kind of do their own thing. Um, I think it's really important when you have a lot of kids that that's a possibility. Um, so we collected desks from around the hotel to make sure each kid had their own. And they, they've been using them a lot. They love crafts and they love coloring and so we try and minimize messy stuff as much as possible. Um, you know, they don't have paints in their rooms. Only the older kids have scissors. Like we try and keep things somewhat under control so we don't have complete chaos. Her room was pretty fun to decorate. She's kind of like a little magpie and she loves to like go around the hotel and collect little treasures. Um, so I just went through and we had kind of decided on navy, white, pink, black, gold. And so with that in mind, we just kind of gathered a lot of little things that felt like they would fit well in her space and her personality. Um, so it gave us a lot of little things to work with when decorating um, without having to spend really any money on it. One of the things that I had set aside initially when we got in here too was uh, the little pink bookshelf. I didn't know where I was going to use it, what I was going to use it for. I mean, obviously I figured it'd be kid related somehow, whether it was coloring books or, you know, reading books or something. Um, but it ended up being a perfect fit for what Madeline decided to go with for her room. So that's where we ended up putting it and she loves it. She loves sticking all her little early readers in there and having her own little set of books to pull from when we go to read at night. I really love that the kids are getting their own spaces to kind of personalize and uh, decorate and show off their personalities and style. In this room, I just feel like it would be such a great fit for any age bracket. And if you love the way this room turned out, please give this video a like and let me know down in the comments what age bracket you think the room is fitting for. If you're looking to stay connected, please sign up for our newsletter. The link is in the description below. Our newsletter has weekly updates, behind the scenes info, sneak peeks, family life, and so much more. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next week.